Hi guys, Patrick here, and today I have sort of a unique hybrid for you. I haven't seen this yet on YouTube, and it's going to be a Central American slash Colombian hybrid. It was originally just going to be a Central American hybrid, yet I think it's actually impossible to do on this game. So I've decided to feature two Colombian players just to finish the hybrid off, so it's 99 chemistry. So going into it, at goal, from, um, from Colombia, we have Ospina who is the best Colombian keeper out there, also very cheap, only cost me 350 coins, all round actually very solid keeper, no problems with him, and uh, yeah, definitely recommend him if you're building um, a cheap Colombian or French League 1 team. So going on to my defence now, I was a bit worried at first it was going to be a bit too slow and get destroyed by the likes of Royce um, and um, you know other fast strikers, it was actually held its own, it was actually pretty decent. So I'm going to start off with Bernandez, who's from Honduras. He plays in the MLS for Zan um, Joe's Earthquakes. He's only 51 pace, but however, um, he was actually pretty decent in game. Nice defending and heading stats, and somehow a little niche stat for him. He's got 85 shot power in game, which is pretty nice for a centre back, anyways. So going on to my other centre back, we got Valadez, who plays for Philadelphia in the MLS. He's Colombian and he's got 68 pace, 74 defending and 68 heading. All around very solid stats for a silver centre back. And in my last centre back we've got Inform Balloy. And Inform Balloy actually has 99 strength in game which is pretty unreal for a centre back. On par with Inform Akin Fenwa. And he cost me 33k. Actually a very good centre back I have to admit. And I think it would work very well in a silver Mexican league team. And he's from Panama. Another player from Panama here, we have Henriquez, who plays in the um, Polish League. He's actually a very good player, nice pace, and all his other stats are pretty decent, to be fair. Actually works quite well as a left wing back, as he is originally a left back. And um, when I was using him, I did a Burkamp flick from 35 yards out, and then smashed it on my volley and hit the crossbar, sadly. It would have been a nice goal, but still, pretty rare, you know, from a Panaman player who plays in the Polish League, you know, sort of sort of get that um, sort of shot on range, you know, it was a bit like, whoa. So anyways, going on to my last defender, we got Purdy. He plays for Portland Timbers, once again in the MLS. He's the only player from El Salvador, and he's actually six foot four, which is a bit surprising. You know, he's a pretty big right um, back. So it would actually work pretty well as a right, um, I mean a centre back, sorry. So yeah, it was a bit weird using him as a right back, but overall it was quite solid. So going on to my midfield now, we got Garcia and Gomez. Gomez sort of um, held back a little bit more, acting as a wall for the defence with Garcia pushing up behind the three um, forwards. It worked very well to be fair, and I did really um, like the two players. Even though they were sort of low rated silvers, they did play very well in game. I think Garcia would actually make a very good centre attacking mid. His long shot's actually um, absolutely crazy to be fair in game. Nearly scored some stunners. And he's got 79 pace and 72 dribbling, which is pretty nice for um, a centre mid and 69 passing. And he scored me four goals in ten games. And next to him, one, we have Gomez, of course. And he's from Panama. All round, very solid stats there, as you can see. All in the mid-60s. Very nice player all round. So going on to my final three. The highlight of this team, I believe. We have the three um, Costa Rican players. Um, Joel Campbell, Brian Ruiz, and Bolaños. So we're going to start off with Bolaños. And he's from Copenhagen in the Superliga, which is in Denmark. And he's got 82 pace, 71 shots, 70 passing, 79 dribbling. All round very nice solid stats there for a silver right forward. Only costing 400 coins. And he's got me 9 goals in 10 games which is very nice for a right forward anyways. And he got, um, has got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot so isn't too bad for those skillers out there. And then going on to my other um, winger we've got um, Joel Cam Campbell. sorry, And he plays for Real Betis in the Liga BBVA. He was my favourite player of the team. He, yeah, he only has um, three star skills. Would be nice to have four star skills. He's very good. And I also believe he's on loan from Arsenal. But he's got nice pace. And his left foot is such a rocket. And his right foot isn't too bad either. It does say three star weak foot. But you can easily cut in with this guy and just shoot. And it usually does go in. And he scored me 12 goals in 10 games. Which of course is not bad at all for a winger. For only a price of 500 coins. So he will work very well in those um, silver Liga BBVA squads. Let's so go on to my last player. We've got Brian Ruiz from Fulham. You may know him. He's actually a pretty nice player in real life. And definitely in game. He's a bit on the slow side. But he's got some very nice dribbling. And very good shooting and passing. He is originally a central stack immediate. I converted him up to a striker. And I think he plays very well there. Definitely in um, when you've got two wingers next to him. Only cost me 700 coins. Four star weak foot. Four star skills. 
7 goals in 10 games, not too bad at all. So that's the squad guys, I hope, you, hope you've enjoyed. Overall, a very nice team. I played 10 go um, games online with this squad and only lost one game. Yes, one game in the Gold Cup, which is not bad at all. I was actually defeating some really sweaty squads with this team. It was overall very good. So it was quite surprising, of course, with the players. So yeah, maybe um, you should guys should go try this out. I'm not too sure. Definitely try out the Costa Rican wingers. They are very, very good. Definitely recommend them for um, your squads. So that's the um, squad guys, hope you've enjoyed, leave a like if you enjoyed and have a very nice day. You see smiles of the long lost and reunited You see tears of parting ways and fears Of loneliness for the ones left standing on the pier Wind blowing last autumn is falling on the gray star Now all is forgiven